Thank you guys for coming today. Uh, appreciate your taking the time out to come all the way over here to the trends and solutions stage. Welcome to uh, coverings for day two. Today we're going to introduce you to an innovative solution to traditional ceramic tile methods. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Dan Welch, Welch Tile and Marble. I'm their president and CEO. We are located near Grand Rapids, Michigan. We have two locations, Holland and uh, Kent City. We employ around 60 tile setters through commercial and residential applications. And uh, I guess we do a lot of specialty work like food plants, swimming pools and things like that. So um, we're excited to share this with you. You're the first group to go through this. And I told my marketing director, we would say, we are Welch. That's our whole thing. We are Welch. <laughs> so one thing for sure is we're experiencing unprecedented times. Change is going to happen and continue to happen. Some of the recent changes that have affected how we do business are the bid packages from Division 9 to Division 3 have changed with a lot of the polished concrete. Uh, we're seeing a lot of LVT and taking a lot of the market share. Uh, competitive products like that and supply chain issues along with inflation are changing how we do business. So how are we going to address these changes and the challenges that are uh, before us? Most of our customers and contractors see us as the experts in the field. What we are doing to bring them value and impact our future, are we bringing them alternative methods, products, qualified labor, shorter lead times? Are you clear on what you're offering your customers to provide and how are you addressing the customer value proposition? Schedule, price, quality, and service. And we can't provide all of them, so which one are you providing your customers? I feel strongly, I'm a little bit biased, that tile is the most important and the uh, ultimate product choice. It's durable, cleanable, uh, chemical resistant, design friendly, and uh, with unlimited colors and textures and patterns. And has functional attributes like slip resistance and uh, impact resistance. Our industry has the right product, but can we install it in a different way? Or maybe a better question, how can we keep it relevant in the future? Let's acknowledge our immediate challenges, shortage of qualified labor, recruitment and retention costs have went through the roof, just keeping people uh, interested in the tile trade. Uh, the great resignations hitting us. A lot of our older and more experienced people are starting to retire. Uh, transferring that skill set is going to be a tremendous challenge for us in the future. So every project seems to be fast tracked and training and maintaining every level of the organization to deliver excellence and service. So I want to show you a video of what we're doing. So you got a little bit of an idea and then we'll go into a little bit more of the details. But up next. Sorry, I'm. For over 30 years, Welch Tile has dedicated our business to leaving a positive impact on the community, our customers, and the industry. As we continue to strive for excellence in everything we do, we've focused on impeccable quality, faster installation times, and reducing the labor needed to install new tile. Lead times are at an all-time high. There is a shortage of qualified labor and installation can take days or even weeks. Through hard work and innovation, we have developed a brand new way of manufacturing and installing tile showers. Our patent pending product and processes are a modern solution to the traditional installation of ceramic tile. After years of testing and validation, we are excited to share our revolutionary breakthrough. Introducing Welch Tile Solutions. Using durable, long-lasting, old-world materials and a new-world method of installation, we can guarantee fast lead times, less labor on site, improved on-time delivery, and much more. These benefits translate to increased revenue and bottom-line profits for your business. 
Almost all of our manufacturing materials are locally sourced within 500 miles of our facility, which helps guarantee quick and reliable lead times. Everything from pattern, color, and texture to dimensions and drain locations are set to customer specifications and allow for unlimited design and material flexibility. Welch Tile's team of trained and certified experts proudly pre-engineer, design, and fabricate shower bases and walls right here in Michigan. Our controlled environment, high standard for training, and quality requirements greatly reduce the risk of failures, which means little to no callbacks. The ease and speed of our installation process dramatically increases productivity. On average, customers will experience a 75% reduction of on-site installation time compared to traditional tile methods. Up to two complete shower systems can be installed in one day on a residential site and up to four on a commercial site. Our processes have been tested and proven using traditional tile products meeting industry standards, making it exceptionally easy to bid on projects and specify product and method. We can train and certify installers to our processes, cut cost, increase revenue, and keep skilled tile professionals in the industry longer. Welch Tile believes that we can make a positive difference for tile professionals everywhere. <laughs> uh, well, as you can see, we're combining the uh, ultimate product choice with the manufacturing efficiencies and uh, innovative installations where we've created solutions which leverage pre-manufacturing principles for the purpose of keeping the installation relevant in the future. So what we've seen for benefits are controlled job schedules, increased and repeatable quality, uh, price control, uh, stewardship. We strive to practice green principles. So starting with waste elimination, we're starting to really drive down and, and rule out waste. And the quality of life and balance for our employees has went up uh, quite a bit for, that was our original intent is to try to provide a quality of life for the tile centers. So the history, how it came to be, I started out in 27th with this great idea. A lot of you that know me, I have a lot of ideas and uh, they all look at me a little bit funny, but how do we prepare for the future downturn is where like we went through 2008, I didn't want to go across country again to try to come up with a new market segment. So what can we do? So I was working with a group of uh, students at Kent Career Center and how do we, this new group of kids are, are a little bit different than the older group. So how are we gonna you know, bring them in? So the, uh, the, I felt like there was a mindset of construction that we were missing, we only have a limited amount of. So if we can bring other people in with different mindsets, we could bring in a higher or a more, more people into the trade. So. 2017 was the idea, 2018 we completed the R&D work and we secured the first project which was the Canopy Hilton where the 150 shower bases. So all of a sudden the pressure was on us to come up with this, you know, make this thing a reality. Otherwise we were doing it standard, you know, mud installation. Uh, I was fortunate enough, one of our contractors took the risk and the owner and it turned out fantastic. Um, 2019, um, we installed that Canopy Hilton uh, and it was a lot different than what this one is today. It had a linear drain in it. The folds were different, but over time, over the last couple of years, 2020, we really spent a lot of time on R&D, um, prepped our, prepared our walls. We originally only had the base and started on niches and shelves and seats. All the options that any other shower has, we have within the pre-assembled uh, process. 21, we installed a, uh, we actually moved our building, separated it and uh, gave it space and invested in the tables that you saw in the video, made it ergonomically friendly for our people. And then 2022, we need to start selling. So you're the first group to see it. We're hoping that this is uh, exciting for you as it is for us, um, but we're here to tell you that story. So over the course of several years, we've learned so much about pre-manufacturing and SOP, standard operating procedures, uh, hired consultants with us to help us with work instruction, video work instruction, uh, to be able to present this to younger people and teach them within days what would have taken months and years to do in a traditional tile setting. 
some of the results we've already seen is improved safety and ergonomics, work-life balance, reduced training time, uh, temperature and humidity controls in our building produced a lot higher quality of a product. Uh, many time reducing opportunities because we're in a space where we can build jigs. Uh, as simple as cutting out a, uh, a notch for a, for a curb. They're all jigs and really simple operations that you can reduce time. So, <clears throat> while manufacturing thrives on standard products, many of the same processes can be used with construction of custom showers. Trial and error along with mapping uh, the process flow with a value stream map has helped us identify to be successful at both commercial and residential. Uh, what we now learned, we can leverage on other market segments, commercial um, um, condos and apartment complexes. Uh, let me show you a little bit about the details. So this is where I think it, I just want to get down here with you guys and show you a little bit about the, the base. Um, our base starts with just a three layers and it's very strong. I set it up here because uh, we can actually, it's self-supporting without having something under it, but we're not advocating that, but I just wanted to show you that just with a layered system, it's just extremely strong. This is our original base. Um, we ended up building our own drain flange. This is our, uh, this is our drain, and I'll pass it around to you. And in the bottom of that drain flange, we've allowed for uh, an offset. So when you're installing and you template this and your drain is in the wrong spot, we have up to a half inch of offset that can go in and then adjust your base to wherever you need it to be exactly in line by using the offsets. Uh, the nice thing about the offset is a typical installation, we'd come in and we'd uh, template, uh, mainly to find out if the floor is out of level, the walls, if we're going to the ceiling, we need to know where the ceiling's going and what we have to do to prep the floor to be level. Uh, when we get on site, we would you know, dry fit the base over the top of the drain and then we can set that right on top and adjust, picking your right flange, pick it off, glue it onto your pipe, and then that keeps your pipe from pushing through the floor when you go to set it back down on it, which is fantastic. The, originally we had that, well, how are we gonna do this? This pipe's gonna keep pushing through, we were trying to pull through. So that drain flange is serving two purposes. The overlap design on this is um, one of the main things. It's just a standard piece of Noble TS, but it's overlapped so we have no cuts or seams in it with the exception of the flange on the drain um, where we're screwing it in just like a traditional um, membrane. Yeah, I'm not sure where it went, but uh, the nice thing is you can tile these in the shop. Um, they're only about 95 pounds, so one guy can put them in. I don't know if you're, this is mini, but they're, they're fairly light. Um, some of the upgrades we did were, we did a flap that was, uh, was just a typical fold Whereas many installations, you bring the pan up, over, and down, and it becomes a little bit, you have to have an outside corner on the curb where this one is, because of the adhering the, the membrane, what the product where you're adhering the membrane to the foam with is so strong, we could adhere the base to the, um, the original membrane and, and change that location. Um, we started on the walls. This would be our typical back wall. This could be eight foot tall bring it in horizontally and flip it. And then we install it over the top of the curb and uh, adhere it right directly to the studs. One nice thing is we're able to fix the studs before we put the wall up, where in a traditional uh, installation, you're putting the board up and then trying to fix the wall after the fact. Um, again, our, with our notches and different things, we, they come in already pre-notched, we bring them in adhere the next panel to it, make sure it's the right size, and um, shim it, and uh, it appeared fairly simple. So I just wanted to you know, kind of give you a brief outline. If you had any questions, I'm more than happy to. So 
So our installations have all been the high-end homes or the commercial, so we've never actually done any of the work around our, our office. There was a lot of people came into our showroom, but we could never service them. So with this product, we're able to service all those customers that we had originally had to turn away. And uh, something like this, our entry level installation price is around $3,000 installed for a three by five shower in the standard colors. We're not totally set on all that, but what, that's what we've been selling them for and being successful at in the last two years. Uh, So the turnaround time, a base takes uh, about a half a day to build and in about a half a day to tile and your tile walls are about a half a day. So we can do it in a week, but we like to tell them two weeks because that way we have a little bit of cure time. Uh, we've teamed up with a local plumber where he's tearing out tub showers. We'll go in and template ahead, have it all pre-built and I'm coming in the next day and putting it in. So I can be prepped and ready and install, tear a tub out one day and install a shower the next. That's a good question. When we pull some of them tubs out, they're pretty nasty, those old houses. And we have to address the studs at that point. So we have, uh, which is a lot easier to do than after the fact, but we're installing studs or we're shimming them with lattice strip and or planing them with a plane to get them to a perfect, if your back wall goes in plain, in plumb, your side wall is gonna be perfect every time. The side walls can be in or out, but I, I like to leave it for the, the guys putting the shower doors in plumb. So sometimes a customer will have to make that decision. If their wall is that far out of plumb, I'm gonna come up to plumb and they'll have to fix the wall around us. But we, there's a lot of adjustability with this product. I have had some problems. Uh, originally, we have A-frames we use from the granite industry where we roll them right into a trailer. Um, and when you get out into the wind, they're like a big sail and you gotta strap them back onto the strap. <laughs> Otherwise they tip over. But no, we haven't had any issues with cracking, hauling them in. We use typical granite tools like a sink saver. We'll clamp it onto the edge and haul it in. And when we flip from horizontal to vertical, that sink saver brings us a hell of a lot of support for um, making that transition. Um, the skill set for the tile installer himself does not have to be a certified installer. We, we envision a day when enough of this going through that we'll have a person cutting the tile edges, these on, only actually next to the strip. The other ones we're laying over um, and presenting it to the installer and all they're doing is installing tile. And the nice thing about our tables that you saw in the video is they go down into the floor three feet. So our bottom of our table is at this level and our top at nine feet is at this level. So you're only working from here to ergonomically friendly. Our current installer actually has one leg and has been doing a great job. A lot of the times we're using profiles, but we can use bull nose or anything that the customer wants. Yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> so, so our end game is that we'd like to change the industry because I think this will produce a lot more tile for everyone if we're able to be competitive with other products. And right now our end game is to try to increase our market share in our local community. But now bringing it to you, if you're interested, we have a, um, uh, you can sign up and we'll kind of keep you abreast of what's going on. And as those opportunities come out, if somebody's interested in, you know, a, a licensing agreements, things like that, I'm not ready for yet, but that'll be the future. I think that we could have fabricators throughout the United States that could produce showers and install them because we won't be able to do it. Yep. Um, we're using a special glue. Um, you'll see over in some of these panels, they're installing exterior panels with a, cert, uh, with a sealant. It's a, that level of a sealant. It's a fast setting. So when you set into it, it's got a lot of tack and it stays right there. 
Um, we don't really have to brace it because when you get the back wall in, then you're setting the side walls to it, which hold the back wall in. You can put a shim there. Sometimes if I get a, you know, a bowed stud or something, I want to keep it flat, I'll put a, stu um, a wood shim in between. But it, typically that glue will keep it standing there. You don't have to worry about it. The walls are a go board and thin set. Yeah. So the, the primary thing is we're putting the membrane on the back side, and that's adhered on, you know, originally we were trying to put the membrane up the back wall, and it just became a hassle. So we bonded it directly to the, the, the back wall, and then we bond it to it with the sealant when it wraps the corner, and then bond the tile to that. Five minutes? All right. So I don't know if you want to take a look, little closer look at it, or um, but this is just kind of an idea of it right here. So if you wanted to, they're lightweight, they're strong. Um, we we cut the backside out here. That's another detail we learned how to do at the factory because if there's drywall on the site, we cut it back that, and um, we have that transition. When we come in, the drywall we don't have to get into. That's behind the um, board. We don't have to get into that seam. So the, uh, the feedback I've received from uh, residential, when somebody comes in and they see what we're doing, it's like, this is a no brainer. I want this, this is great. Cause you're not messing up your, my house. It's easy to understand. They can see it ahead of time. Commercially, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get the architects to understand. And right now our drain is through going through the IATMO certification. So once we get that, I think we'll have a little bit easier time of saying we can do this. I think there's gonna be some issues with fire rating that we'll have to address at some point um, because the panels are not a fire rated board where a lot of you have to do den shield or something like that but it can install directly over the den shield which we've done in multiple applications we'd have to change our profile because it's thicker um, but there, i'm sure that that's something that in the future state will be able to address and get through so right now i'm working on a 450 shower unit in battle creek and 100 shower in uh, another town of Mark, uh, Manistee and one more in the same town of Manistee. So there's six, 700 showers that we would normally not even do that are uh, right in our backyard we're working on now. So, so all right, any other? What's your patent position? Patent position, we're in patent pending. We've come through review on first review and we have a patent in uh, process for overseas. Yeah, my, my original dream was a life of a tile setter, the higher quality of life of a tile setter. So if I can make that happen throughout the country, I'm happy with that. Licensing agreement, franchise, I see fabricators uh, um, would like the tile industry to adapt and that, instead of some other industry. So. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks.